guitar players and bassists are becoming more and more flirty, even drummers, in terms of music. Notes are sounding deeper and deeper. They're down tuned. We have seven string guitars, so there's another bass string in there. It won't be long until we're using shoelaces as guitar strings to start mosh pits. And this is all accompanied by the fact that these breakdowns and these verses are all predicated on a chorus that sounds like boy band music. Nothing I'm saying here is original, but when the chorus utterly contradicts all that and it gets high pitched, and you hear that the singer is a legitimate soprano, and not in the hair metal fashion or glam metal fashion where their voice is just up there in the octaves, more like they never hit puberty because they don't have the testosterone needed, it's all been aromatized away, then that's a problem too. In the past, we made fun of Avenged Sevenfold, yet now we have Pierce the Veil. The veil. That's a clear-cut indicator that something is wrong with the direction, harder rock, and heavier metal is taking, that we're sacrificing a healthy dose of aggression for music that essentially serves the purpose of being Coca-Cola, of being a caffeine rush instead of something that's a legitimate adrenaline rush. And that bothers me. Do we really need these farty sounding guitars that have no sense of... I mean, there's no groove in music now. When Down Shooting got big, it was because of groups like Pantera, where Pantera basically established it so that metal was mostly a groove based thing. That it was all about that guitar heavy stuff. And then New Metal took that and added their own kind of grungy, funky, sometimes hip hop influence modern twist. That angsty late MTV stuff. And then we've had metal core and the rest is history. Down tuning has its role, and that role is a rhythmic thing. But when these constant breakdowns happen, we sort of lose any of that musical flavoring. It's all thrown out the window. This is just a seventh grade person's phase. No one listens to this stuff forever. I speak to females now, and they said they loved these bands as a kid, but they grew out of it relatively quickly. And that's not going to change anytime soon. Pierce the Veal, Asking Alexandria, these aren't the classics. At the end of the day, the guitars are going to sound fartier and more baritone until they reach Marvin Gaye, Tazon Day levels of tone. And... Tracy Chapman levels of tone. Beyonce, when her vagina's queefing levels of tone... And these singers are going to sound more Alvin the Chipmunk meets Britney Spears as we keep hearing them. 
this is a gradual process, and it's one that's becoming less and less musical. It's less and less rhythmic. It's less and less melodic, since we're not hearing as much guitar solos. But the guitar solo has been a dying art ever since I was a wee little lad. People want the guitar solos back. And when they get the guitar solos back, they don't know how to act. Because it's such a novelty now. And with the better production values, you would think that you would be getting more of them and be sounding much sweeter. But now, anytime somebody does a guitar solo, all of a sudden they're a savant. They're a savant because they made it so that they can perform their instrument melodically, doing their thing without just having to work as a rhythmic piece and an average rhythmic piece without an interesting groove to keep you hooked. That's what we've been dealing with. There is literally no reason for this dynamic to exist of 40 guitars and squealy choruses. Yet it's the majority of harder and heavier metal and it's easy to grow out of. It's killing the genre. I just plain don't like it. And neither will some of you watching this video. If you do say that it's your cup of tea, then by all means, hope you enjoy the next five years where um, Mariah Carey is singing over the drones of... Hmm. A washing machine toned guitar. And that Mariah Carey is a dude, by the way. Although you could barely tell. Because we can't see the chromosome. But we can certainly feel it. Deep within our souls. This is Mr. Wonka 7. And think about it.